Hi, I'm Anna De Silva, and today we're cooking with these beautiful farm pride eggs. I'm going to do a great recipe that's super simple. It's a Chinese style omelette, which either can make it really plain and basic, or you can do a beautiful spanner crab, bean shoot, and spring onion and chili omelette. So we have these beautiful eggs here. We're just, for this omelette, we're actually going to use just three eggs. Normally you use two, but this is, needs three in the wok. Cracking them like that, nice and fresh. You can tell when an egg's nice and fresh because the egg white's really thick around the yolk. So always make sure you've got really fresh eggs. Give it a bit of a whisk, breaking it all up. And then what we do is we season in the egg, season the egg mix. So when you season an egg mix, all the flavour comes through it. There's no point putting it at the end of the, at the end of the dish. A bit of oyster sauce gives it a nice flavour, nice depth of flavour, and a bit of so salt, bean soy. So this. Mix this quite well. You'll see it changes the components of the egg a bit, makes it a bit more thinner. Nice hot wok. So this isn't too much oil. It might look like a lot of oil, but the egg actually doesn't absorb any of the oil if it's hot enough. You can see it just all puffs up. If the oil's not hot enough, your, 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 egg, your eggs, eggs won't puff up. Give it a little bit of a shake. You never want to take a wok off the stove because you lose a lot of the heat. So this will start to cook through and crispen up like that. So for a plain omelette, you just fold this over and you get a beautiful, nice plain omelette. You can make it more European and add cheese and ham and tomato. So we've got some beautiful Queensland spanner crab here. Fantastic product. Almost as good as a farm pride eggs, I would say, but... Some ginger, nice aromatic ginger. Some crunchy bean shoots for a bit of crunch, obviously. You always gotta have a variety of flavors and textures. Got some beautiful chili, nice spicy. Always check your chili if it's nice and hot. So we always give a little bit of a taste test. And that's pretty hot. So it's fantastic. This is really nice like that. Bit of oyster sauce. And then we're gonna do is just little, give it a little flip over. See all that oil's just remaining in the wok there. Yeah, empty bowl, just discard the oil. And now we're just gonna flip, flip this omelette out onto, onto a chopping board. You can flip it directly out onto a plate, but I like to flip it out onto a board to make it all look nice and fancy. Just a little nice little beautiful cigar shape here. Trim the edges off if you're serving it in a restaurant, like Coda. And we'll just scoop this omelette up like that. Keeping it nice and beautiful. Again, little touch of sauce. Just oyster sauce and eggs is a great, great combination. It's almost like tomato and basil, I think. Got some beautiful fresh coriander, which I like, whenever you use herbs, I like to tear them. So it just activates them and makes them smell beautiful. There's no point putting whole herbs or and just do it at the last minute. A couple of bits more chilli. So here you go, beautiful wok fried spanner crab omelette using farm pride eggs.